Aries, welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Nelly, a.k.a. Owl Tarot, and I'm here to give you guys <clears throat> a reading. We're going to see what is coming towards you guys the next 24 to 48 hours. We're going to see your overall messages, intentions, and outcomes. But before we get started, guys, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. It allows me to connect with you energetically, and it definitely helps me out with the growth of the channel. As you all know, my readings are timeless, general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. <clears throat> if the reading resonated and you would like additional messages and clarity regarding your situation, you can always book a personal reading with me. The info is in the description box below. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you for all your love and support. It is truly appreciated. So let's go ahead and get started here, guys. Don't forget to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for you to get additional messages and clarity regarding this reading. <clears throat> so I don't know why all of a sudden I'm having a problem <clears throat> speaking. There may be something that needs to come out here. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is the overall messages here for my Aries, please? Overall messages for my Aries, please. Happiness. Overall messages for my Aries, please. The next 24 to 48 hours, declutter. Overall messages for my Aries, please. The next 24 to 48 hours, acceptance. So there is something that you must accept already here and awakening at the bottom of the deck. So you have been in this energy right now, Aries, as we, what is it, only the second day of the year, the third day of the year, um, You've accepted things in your life, things that no longer serve a purpose in your life. You are removing them, okay? With this declutter, you're cutting out old ways, old ways of thinking, old ways of doing stuff. You're pretty much clearing your space for a new beginning for yourself here. You've accepted the past and current situations and you work through these issues gracefully. Meaning you have walked away what the, from what doesn't serve a purpose in your life anymore, okay? Now you're ready to accept happiness. You're ready to accept new situations. You're ready to celebrate the new, the new that's coming towards you. New year, new you, okay? And with awakening here, it took you a while, <clears throat> excuse me, it took you a while to get into this shift, but finally you're here, you're accepting, you're moving on and you're moving forward. You're leaving people, places and things behind that do not serve a purpose for you in your life anymore and you're accepting that everything that happens in your life happens for a reason and you're good with it and you're ready to move on. You've accepted. You accepted the good and the bad from the past, okay? Universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. What is the overall energies here for my Aries, please? What are the overall energies here for my Aries? Universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. Overall energy here for my Aries, please. Hierophant. So there was a connection in the past because it is in the reverse that didn't work out. Okay. You could have very well been married to this person. You could have even had a family with this person. Something went wrong in this situation. Okay. With the page of pentacles, someone became very childish, greedy, controlling, I'm getting. Um, and you had to remove yourself from that situation. It took you a while here, Aries, to accept that this relationship was done and over with. It was hard for you to let go of this relationship. But I feel that as you realize that there was a major shift happening in your life, in your personal life, you started realizing that it was time for you to let go of the old to allow in the new. With the Page of Wands, there is a new energy coming in for you. There is someone new that's wanting to communicate here with you, that's wanting to talk to you. Within the next 24 to 48 hours, this new person will be entering your life. This person is going to give you a more sense of um, oomph, a more, a more happier, a, a more of a pep in your step. There's something about this connection, this new situation that is just going to make you much more happier. What else, universe? Eight of Wands. And this is going to move forward. There's going to be a lot of communication with you and this new individual. And what I mean by a lot of communication, it's like, you know, when you first start a relationship, you are on the phone with this person for hours and hours, texting back and forth. That's what it's going to feel like, okay? It's going to feel like you're finally at the right place at the right time to start a new connection here. And I feel like you're ready for this. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is this new person's intentions with my Aries here? 
Knight of Wands in the reverse. What is this Knight of Wands in the reverse here? Three of Cups in the reverse. This person does not have any type of intentions to come in here and put you in any type of third party situation. Nor are they going to be leaving you out in the cold. Or are they going to be walking away from you or leaving you thinking what the hell is going to happen next. No, this person's coming in because this person has an intention to make you happy. Okay. This person is the one that was divinely guided to come towards you to give you some type of happiness. After all the turmoil and the un. All of after all the turmoil and unhappiness you've dealt with in the recent past, it's time for you to finally be able to be happy and move on and move forward. You've accepted the past as a done deal. You've accepted a situation no longer serves a purpose for you. And this individual is coming in to put the work with you. Okay? So there is definitely a new energy. This new person doesn't have any traits of what the past person had. This new person does not plan to walk away from you or put you in any type of third party situations. On the contrary, this new person is coming in here because they want to put the work and the connection with you what is the overall energy here universe with this new person victory success strength this person is going to come in here because they intend to make you stronger okay this person come that they're coming in here to show you that they're they're there is stronger connections out there, and this is one of them, okay? They're going to show you what true love is, what true passion is. They're going to be very transparent, open their feelings. They're always going to let you know what they're thinking and feeling. This person doesn't have a reason to have secrets from you. This person is going to be a very strong individual, and you're going to be really surprised because... You're going to try to compare this new connection to the past connection, and you're going to come to realize that this person has much more of the qualities that you would have ever gotten with that past person. And it's it, in a way, it's going to be hard, but at the same time, it's going to be a beautiful connection. What is the possible outcome in this situation, universe? Archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. Nine of Swords. This outcome is that you're no longer going to be dealing with that past situation. That nightmare that you dealt with in the past, that is done and over with, okay? You don't have to bring any of that sadness into this situation. You don't even have to think about the past anymore. This new person doesn't have a reason to be toxic, doesn't have a reason to be controlling, doesn't have a reason to keep you stuck in your head. On the contrary, this person has a reason to come in here and balance things out with you. Always speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Be very straightforward. This new person is going to be a soulmate energy for you. You're going to fall in love with this new person very, very quickly. Things are going to move kind of fast with this Eight of Swords. I mean, sorry, Eight of Wands here. And with the Six of Swords and the Ten of Cups, you're going to be slowly but surely moving into calmer waters with this person. And you're going to have that happily ever after you've always wanted. It's not going to be with a past person. It's going to be with this new person. All right, guys. I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.